First of all, we ask our distributors in the German-speaking countries to register in which category they would like to participate. We have four categories, active components, passive components, electromechanics and optoelectronics displays. And after they have registered, we start the readership survey. Our readers can rate the distribution partners according to five criteria. Those are product availability, product portfolio, then a delivery service, then technical competence and support, and finally the overall impression. This year we had 1900 participants which uh, voted for the different distribution partners so that we can uh, say this is really a result which um, you can accept. Well, I think EBV is a strong, um, strong player in the distribution market for semiconductors and for optoelectronic components. Um, they invested a lot in field applications, engineering and technical support, as we see from our awards. And one example is, for instance, the Light Lab they have implemented where they, where they are um, have a lot of measurement equipment in place in order to support the customers. And another example I would say is the EBV chips program, where they are really a trendsetter in the industry and showed um, a new way um, of bringing, aggregating the information from the customer back to the supplier. And then um, there are new chips created, which are unique in the market so far, and those can service the customers better than in the past where they had to pick from components which are already available from the shelf. Uh, yes, the award from Electronic is for us a, a direct feedback from our customers, therefore we are more than proud to have uh, on a yearly basis these high rankings. Yeah, I just have to continue. We are really proud that we uh, got this award. And uh, not only this year, but we got this already for for several years uh, in a row, and we are really proud on it. And obviously, we want we want to stay on the top of the distribution market, and we try to ensure this first to be at, as close as possible at the customer. So we be visiting the customers very frequently. Also myself, also EBB management to really understand what are the customer needs, the customer requirements. Uh, also their visions, you know, their potential markets, their future markets, how they, they are investigating in and want to be in. And then we try to help them to be the consultant for them, for their markets. On the other side, uh, by knowing then what are the potential uh, yeah, requirements from our customers and needs, we give our FIEs very specific trainings. All our FIEs have 20 de training days each year, so it's a huge amount of investment we are doing. Uh, to, to train them on the latest technologies and in particular on those requirements our customers needs. Uh, talking about the semiconductor market, market in Central Europe, we are dominated by two major segments. One is the industry area, mainly factory automation. The second strong one is automotive. Uh, both areas in the past uh, was concentrated more on discussion about single parts and in the future we will we see a clear trend for system solution and we see the, that in both of these segments uh, consumer application will getting more traction as it was in the past so for example in uh, in the car area we see this trend to car to x communication or in uh, factory automation we see a, a clear trend to uh, cloud uh, communication means uh, we will have another type of uh, products we have to consider and for our people it's quite interesting to get this product rich. Uh, we have to train them in another way as we have done this in the past. Uh, another trend we see in, in Europe is uh, we are still very strong in uh, R&D uh, activities but we see also the customers using uh, maybe EMS uh, companies not uh, located here in our area means uh, so we should also have uh, tools in the future to follow the supply chain. And some other trends uh, 
some other upcoming trends, for example, we see in the life science uh, area, so variables or more in the medical areas, uh, upcoming applications. So I guess uh, Central Europe will also be uh, the major market in Europe in the next couple of years. And uh, from a technical trend, uh, we have to be fast, as we have been all, all the times, to dominate the marketplace. Yeah, we have yeah. we have several trends in our markets. One is uh, a trend, or it's not a trend actually. It's been there all the time. Uh, our customers have to be competitive in their end markets, and thus they need to provide value to their end markets. And and this is where we come into the game. You know, uh, with latest technologies, with uh, more intelligence, microcontrollers, microprocessors, low cost versions, not uh, for several dollars or ten dollars of uh, communication, modern communication. Like uh, like Wi-Fi communication, Industry 4.0 is a uh, is a major trend in in the Central European markets, and like I said, <clears throat> technology is coming here into the game, and we as a distributor for for semiconductors try to uh, yeah, leverage this and promote latest technologies to our customers, help them to choose the right technologies to be competitive in their end markets. Well, the challenge for the future will be the same as we had in the past. We have to deliver with an uh, excellent supply chain to our customer. Beside of that, it's quite important to keep our technical experience. Uh, that's not that easy for us because, you know, we are running out of engineers here in Europe. Therefore, we have to find uh, new ways to attract people to join distribution area. But with the, the good brand name we have in our market, uh, we are convinced to find also very uh, good and motivated people in the future so that so that we are still be in a very good uh, position to serve our customer. Uh, challenging from my point of view, uh, first of all, you know, uh, if you talk about Internet of Things or Industry 4.0, pretty much everybody is meanwhile talking about those terms, but uh, we have to provide real value to the customer. Talking about, you know, what, what is in the media already is not of real value. So you need to go to customers and, 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 and show them what is possible, what is feasible, where the markets are heading. Um, so this is what, what uh, I see as, as a key trend. Um, another one is that um, many information is meanwhile available in the Internet. <clears throat> and also when talking to customers, they are sometimes ask, okay, uh, what is your value? Because I can find everything in the internet. Uh, in particular here, we can provide value since we are uh, franchised for several man semiconductor man manufacturers. And if you consider, for example, Cortex-M, pretty much every microcontroller manufacturer has Cortex-M derivatives. But the trick here is to find the right one, the perfect device for a specific application for a certain customer. And think, in particular, dist uh, the distribution in general, but in particular, EBV can provide here value uh, not only about a single about products, but a complete, uh, first of all, give a complete picture of certain technologies, but also a complete picture on, on complete solutions, not only on the microcontroller, but also on the sensors, in the activators, and, and all, uh, all the peripherals which are necessary to really have a fully blown solution. So, uh, yeah, competitiveness, you know, the market is becoming tight, you know, uh, everybody wants to be a technically competent partner. So this is one of our challenge that we really need to stay ahead of the rest of the market and we will pursue this and we will move forward by, as I mentioned earlier, staying close to our customers and understand what are their main concerns and their main requirements.